Welcome sa sip9.com. In the previous video, pinag-aralan natin yung definition ng domain and range, no? And pinag-aralan din natin yung konsepto. Uh, paano tignan yung domain and range gamit ang graphs? Dito sa video na to ang gagawin natin is to look at the equations of functions. Kasi most of the time naman, pag nagsusolve tayo, hindi naman natin ginagraph kaagad, no? So, let's see kung gagawa natin na wag muna tayo mag-graph and then we use the graph to check if our answer later is correct, no? Okay, let's have um, the first example. Yung y equals 2x minus 3. No? What do we know about y equals 2x minus 3? Pag sinabi natin domain, di ba sabi natin sa previous video, yung, yung uh, set of x uh, coordinates nung, nung graph, nung function. No? So, ano yung mga posibleng value ng x? Dito, may restriction ba tayo? Or pwede bang yung x natin is negative? Yes. Pwede bang positive? Yes. Pwede bang zero? Yes. So, parang dito, wala tayong restrictions sa x, no? Sa x-coordinates. And in fact, this this uh, function, ang, ang graph nito is line, di ba? This is a uh, line with slope 2 and uh, passing through negative 3. So, pag ganyan yan, no? So, ang, since ang line ay wala siyang butas or gap, no? Uh, or hole, ibig sabihin yung any value here, any number here ay posible. No? So, ibig sabihin yung domain natin is a set of real numbers. Uh, sa, set uh, sa interval notation, di ba sabi natin negative infinity up to infinity yung ating uh, symbol dyan. No? Now, uh, the range, I think uh, since alam natin yung graph nito is line again, uh, sabi natin ang range is uh, we can always get any number we want here. And kung imagine natin yung graph, it's a line which has a shadow. No? Meron siyang projection sa y-axis. No? Anywhere. No? Anywhere on the y-axis meron. Or everywhere no? on the y-axis. So, ibig sabihin, ganito rin, negative infinity rin yung ating uh, negative infinity up to infinity rin yung ating range. No? Let's have number 2 y equals square root of x. Ang domain ba nito ay set of real numbers then? By the way, pwede rin natin pala isulat yung set of real numbers kanyan lang, no? yung r. Or simply r, pwede. So range, kahit ano ba pwede natin ilagay sa x? Pag positive ba pwede? Yes, no? we can have a square root of any any uh, real number. So pwede natin ilagay yung yung uh, positive number sa x. Pwede bang 0? Yes, square root of 0 is 0. So, walang problema. Pwede bang negative? Hindi ba tayo magkaroon ng square root ng negative number? Hindi pwede, no? Uh, wala tayong square root ng negative number, no? Uh, sa complex number, meron. Pero pinag-uusapan natin ito is real numbers. So, wala tayong square root ng uh, negative number. Meaning, ang pinakamababa lang natin na value for x is 0 tapos sa any positive number na. Ibig sabihin, from here, we have 0 up to infinity. Ibig sabihin ng square bracket na ito kasama yung 0. Ang, ang set notation nito is x such that x is greater than or equal to 0. No? May equal siya, ibig sabihin kasama yung 0 kasi pwede yung 0 dito. No? Now, ang range... Kung 0 ang pinakamababa natin dito, if square root of 0 is 0, then y is equal to 0, right? Hindi na tayo magkakaroon ng y na negative kasi wala naman tayong negative value nitong buong, yung, itong, itong expression na to, no? So, 0 then yung ating y up to infinity. Square root of a positive number is positive, so lahat ng positive numbers dito pwede. No? So, ganun din dito, y such that y is greater than or equal to 0. For number 3, we have uh, y equals 1 over x. By the way, uh, y and x lang ginagamit natin, pero pwede tayong gumamit na ibang letter dyan. No? Importante kasi yung pinag-uusapan naman natin dito, function. No? Uh, for example, pwede na tayong gumamit na p equals 2q minus 3. So, wala tayong problema dyan. No? Kasi ang domain, ang range lang ang pinag-uusapan natin. Um, here, pwede ba yung 
Pwede ba sa domain natin lahat ng ng ano, lahat ng numbers, lahat ng real numbers? Pwede bang positive? Yes, no. Pwede bang negative? Yes. Pwede bang zero yung x? Hindi pwede kasi magiging 1 over 0 siya and we know that 1 over 0 is undefined. Ibig sabihin, x such that x is not equal to 0. Ito yung sa set notation natin. Pero paano natin ito gagawin sa ano? Paano natin siya gagawin sa interval notation? Lahat ng negative numbers hanggang from negative infinity up to 0 pero hindi kasama yung 0 kaya ang gagawin natin. Di ba natin equal to 0? Hindi kasama yung 0 kaya parenthesis. Tapos isasama natin siya union. No? Naalala nyo yung, set, uh, yung interval notation natin? Uh, I-review nyo no? kung hindi nyo maalala to. Uh, I think it's one of the videos. Happy na lang. And then, from 0, hindi pa rin kasama yung 0 up to positive infinity. So, this, these two are the same. No? Any number except 0. Kasi hindi siya kasama yung 0 dito, hindi kasama yung 0 dito. Pero dito, kasama lahat ng positive numbers sa kapak. Na dito, kasama lahat ng positive. And ng negative numbers. No? Okay. So, range... Magkakaroon tayo ng maliliit na... Magkakaroon ba tayo ng negative dito? Yes. No? Uh, pwede bang lumaki itong number na to kahit 1 over x siya? Kahit fraction siya, pwede ba siyang lumaki? Uh, yes, no? Kasi pag ang x mo is 1 over 1,000, ang 1 over x mo is 1 over 1 over 1,000, no? Which is equal to 1,000. So kahit... 1 over x yan, pwede yung umabot ng 1,000, pwede yung umabot ng 1 million, pwede rin siya umabot ng 1 over 1 million, which is very small. Uh, no? Or pwede rin siyang maging negative, 1 over negative 1 million. So, wala tayong problema. No? Hindi lang siya pwede maging, so pwede maging positive, pwede maging malaking malaki, pwede maging negative, pwede maging maliit, maliit na maliit. Hindi lang siya, hindi lang siya magiging Ano sa tingin nyo? Anong, anong hindi pwede maging value nito? Hindi siya pwede maging zero kasi mayroon tayong one na uh, numerator eh. Pag ang number maging zero, pwede zero over something. No? Over n, kumari, any number. Or zero over x. But here we have one as denominator. The only, the only possible value, uh, the, the only possibility that this will be zero if the denomin oh, the numerator sorry the only possible values for the the only possible value or the only possibility for this to be zero is for the numerator to be zero and here the, the numerator is one so impossible siya maging zero ibig sabihin yung range natin is pareho din ito no? set of real numbers except zero Or in set notation, we have uh, oh, we have uh, y such that y is not equal to zero. No? Okay, so kung gusto nyo, pwede natin i-check. This is, uh, I think, I don't know kung i-check pa ba natin to because I think this is very obvious. This is uh, a linear function. It's a, the graph is a line. So, therefore, the domain and range are negative infinity to uh, positive infinity. So, tignan na lang natin itong y equals square root of x. Ito yung y equals square root of x, no? So, ano ang, ano ang ano natin domain? Ang domain natin is yung set of x values, no? So, kasama yung 0, lahat ng positive numbers. So, from 0, including 0 up to infinity, no? Which is, which is, uh, no, consistent with our uh, answer here. Tapos yung range naman natin, paakit naman, no? Uh, although, mabagal ang pag-akit yan, pero definitely akit yan, no? Yan, yan, maakit siya. No? Maakit siya. Yan. Okay? So, tataas at tataas yan, 
At ibig sabihin, ang ating uh, range ay from 0, including 0 up to infinity din, yung range natin. Which is the same here, no? Ang tignan natin yung, ano, yung isang function, yung 1 over x. y equals 1 over x. Huh? So, ano napapansin nyo? Okay. So, hindi, meron tayong uh, sa x, kung hindi natin yung x, meron tayong value ng, ng x dito. No? Aso dito, sa gitna, wala yan. No? Palapit lang yan ng palapit sa y-axis, pero hindi kasama yung y-axis, hindi siya tatama. Ibig sabihin, yung x natin, hindi kasama yung 0. All values except 0. Which is, yeah, ito. From negative infinity to zero and zero to infinity. So, hindi kasama yung zero. Pero lahat ng ibang numbers kasama. Lahat ng ibang x values. Ganun din ang range. No? Kung range, ito naman titignan natin. No? Wala rin siyang value na y equals zero. No? So, palapit lang na palapit siya sa y. y uh, equals zero. Or, pag sinabi mo y equals zero, ito, ito, ito kasi yung line na yan, di ba? Yung x-axis mismo patong sa dyan. So, dito rin palapit, na palapit siya sa y equals 0 but hindi siya tatama dyan which means that we have no value for uh, y. y. Y is not equal to 0. Okay, so I hope meron kayo tunan dito sa video na to Siguro magkakaroon pa tayo ng more examples on how to uh, determine the domain and the range of functions. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.